Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Justin Riley, and we have a great show for you today. You'll want to stick around. We'll be learning about some financial planning advice from Trinity Financial, plus some great food tours that are going on here in the Madison area from Madison Eats, and where to buy the best outdoor patio furniture. So it's a great show coming up. But first, I'm joined by our friends Julie Sheldon and Terry Wyland from Center for Families. Welcome to the program, ladies. Good to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. So uh, first of all, uh, Terry, tell us a little bit about uh, Center for Families. Well, Center for Families is a local um, nonprofit here in Madison on Fordham Avenue. And we have eight different programs. They're kind of broke down into three different categories. We do we have some that are in-home programs, so we go into people's homes and we work with them. We have some that are classroom programs, and those are mostly our parent education um, classes. And then we also have the respite program at Center for Families. Um, and our main focus in the in-home programs are. Um, school readiness so we work a lot on literacy and getting children ready for school and we're really working on um, closing the achievement gap here in Dane County um, and then our uh, parent education works with the love and logic curriculum and we have other curriculums that we work on but that's the main focus of our parent education and then the respite program has individual um, programming that they do within that program you guys have such a great <laughs> variety of programs that are such such great services for the community. That's awesome. Yeah. That's very awesome. So you, your uh, agency relies very heavily on volunteer support. What are the biggest needs, or what would you say the biggest needs are for volunteer support right now? What areas do you need volunteers in? So you're right. We do rely very much on volunteers. It's a, uh, In the nonprofit world, it's, it's <laughs> funding is difficult, and so volunteers have a very big role in our agency. And right now, our agency is really looking for volunteers to work in our parent education um, classes. So we have um, our Love and Logic classes, and they're, they're primarily in the evening, but we have several sites in the community that we're in. But where we need volunteers is we don't have child care for them. And so it's very difficult for young families to come in and do receive the support and education when they themselves don't have a very large support system. And so they realize, in order to come to the classes, they have to have somebody to take care of their children. And we really can't have children in the classes because right. we are talking about child rearing and so you're giving away all the answers that way <laughs> so we answers. really yes yeah, so on, on our um, again we're in several locations in the community but um, everywhere that we're at there's a, a nice play area for children indoor outdoor so there's a great area that they can be close by where that volunteers can help care for them but their parents are just a few doors down if there's a need be but we really um, really need child care uh, volunteers it's not something that's funded um, really by any of our funders and so we it is strictly based on volunteers um, and it's really important we're, we're losing people for them to come to these classes because we don't have volunteers to help care for their children because they can't they can't find anybody to uh, right. take care of their kids so right. yeah very important so uh, talk to us about some of the other uh, program specific areas uh, where you need volunteers so one of the other really um, needs that we have is in our play and learn group. So we have play and learn in many areas of the of Dane County. So we have some right on Fordham. We have three there a week. We're on the west side of Madison. We're in Sun Prairie and we're on the south side. And so those groups can vary. It's a drop-in group. Um, again, a school readiness program. Um, we can get as many as 25 children and their parents coming in. And we have two staff members almost always at each site. But even with two staff members, when you have 50 plus people, 25 kids, that's a lot of people right, <laughs> so right, we need yeah. volunteers to help mingle to help you know some of the parents that are coming in they have three kids so right. when one child's going one way and another child's going another way <laughs> they could use an extra hand we could right. use an extra hand with some of the activities that we're doing so that is another um, really big area that we could use volunteers for and those tend to be morning hours parents place is evening hours so we can kind of fit anybody in who's looking for a volunteer experience for yeah. for that um, I think that um, one of the things that's really important is that they're, these volunteers are giving parents a break in what they're right. doing, too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Julie, we uh, just mm -hmm. have a few seconds left, but I'm wondering if you can yeah. talk to us a little bit about some of the maybe non-program specific volunteer opportunities that are available. There are a lot of um, volunteer opportunities, a uh, variety of tasks, anywhere from, Terry already mentioned the child care, but transportation is a big need. We have special fundraising events. Uh, we have 
opportunities that are really um, geared for groups to come in, whether it's building maintenance or helping us with the example, we have a brat stand at every UW home football game. It's great for yeah. groups to come in and, and volunteer with us to help raise some money. Yeah. Um, if people want to do anything from office support, We'll find a, we'll sure. find a niche. You'll, you'll find something. So yeah. if they go to your website, they can find some information. Yeah. So. In fact, if um, on our website we have a how to help page and there's um, volunteer contact information, but there's also volunteeryourtime.org, which will have current opportunities listed as well. Awesome. Julie Sheldon and Terry Weiland from Center for Families. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Don't go away. When we come back, financial planning advice from Trinity Financial. Let's talk of the town.